In the homeschool world, there seems to be only a handful of science curriculums that seem to be the best, and everybody's using them. You have Apologia, Master Books, Answers in Genesis, The Good and the Beautiful, Bob Jones. However, I think that I found a golden gem when it comes to anatomy and physiology. Gems aren't golden, but it's a gem. Nutrition 101, choose life. Now, I recently did a video on the best homeschool curriculums, in my opinion, and I brought this book up and you guys wrote so many comments down below. I figured it was a perfect time for me to do a review and flip through of this book so that you can look at it and see if this is something you wanna add to your homeschool routine. My name is Leilani and this is our channel Living with Eve and the first thing that you need to know is that this book only covers anatomy and nutrition. So in a sense, it's a unit study. You also need to know that it is a Christian based curriculum. There are tons of scriptures references to it and you can approximately finish this book in about a year if you complete one chapter per week. It includes recipes, research papers and reading and tons of activity. So let's get started looking at the introduction. The introduction is going to tell you everything about this book. I'm going to be honest right now. The study of nutrition is more than just a look into food and its nutrients. It's an in-depth look at how we eat, what we eat, how the body works, and how these foods affect the body. It's going to show you the 12 main body systems that are covered in the six units. You can see, of course, it's not just nutrition. It's body systems and anatomy. The one thing I really love about this book is that it teaches you the relationship between the food that you eat and how your body responds to it and how when God created our bodies and food, he put it together kind of like a puzzle piece and how it just works so perfectly. You can really admire God's handiwork and see it as you read this book. Let's go ahead and head over to the table of contents where you can see a more detailed look at what each unit covers. Each unit is divided up into four chapters discussing that specific body system. And I love the appendix in this book. They have a ton of materials and you're gonna reference to the appendix as you go through each of those chapters. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's look at chapter number one, the brain. As you can see, it's extremely detailed on all the information that's included. And you wouldn't really read this to a kindergartner. It is advised at the beginning of the book that you as the parent should go through these chapters on your own. There is some material in here that is not really appropriate for a kindergartner. I mean, you can kind of figure out what that is. So what you can do is just read through it on your own and give your kindergarten, first, second grader a brief overview of what the chapter is about because when they get to the activities, that's the fun part, they're gonna be going over that stuff anyway. Now what I would do for your middle school and high schoolers when they start going through some of these bigger words like the hypothalamus, the limbic system, hippocampus, I would actually have them write them down on flashcards and you can even add some tests in there or quizzing in there just to kind of make sure they're getting an understanding of the different parts of that body. Now here's the fun part. You get to unit one, chapter one, where you have your discussion questions and activities. It is suggested on day one of the week that you do the reading and the discussion questions and then you pick an activity as a family. Discussion questions are short. You could talk about them. You can have your kids write them out. You know, it's really up to you. It's flexible. For the activities, they're gonna break them up into elementary and secondary grade. And I think this is just my observation, is they kind of go from easiest to hardest within that section. And I love that they have some additional resources because if there's something in this book that interests a student or even the parent, you can delve deeper into it and know that these resources are safe. I've used them. I have not yet found a broken link on any of these resources. So for example, if you look at the elementary one, in the morning brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand, at night brush your teeth with your dominant hand, and you're asking them, was this easy or hard? Why? Simple things like that, teaching you about the brain and how the brain works. But then when you get to the secondary, you're gonna have read the following article by neuroscience Dr. David DeWitt, and they give you a website. Do you believe the composition of the brain supports intelligent design? And I love, once again, it's biblical based. And the next section is gonna be your power recipe and activities. This is the section that's actually gonna take you a couple days to cover because it requires shopping for the food, cooking the food, eating the food, doing the activities with the food. But each of these power recipes has something that's going to support that body system that you're 
looking at. Of course, for the brain, we're gonna talk about avocados. I love avocados. That's my like, I can't live without them, avocados. They're green like my wall. Avocados are awesome. And they're really good for your brain. It points out that an avocado is a fruit, not a vegetable. It's a different kind of fruit. It's not like a citrus fruit. It's a very thick, meaty, fatty fruit, but it's a fruit. It has a seed. I think that's cool because they share that with you in this book. So you get the idea how each unit and each chapter works. Now let's go back and look at the appendix, which you're gonna reference to as you're doing your power recipes. This is where it gets really fun. <laughs> He talks about all those things that homeschool moms talk about when we're like, you know, hanging out as moms. Cause you know, homeschool moms, we just like sit around and talk about health statistics. Did you know that 12.7 million people are diagnosed with cancer every single year? Oh my gosh, that's crazy, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just read about it on social media. Because you know, everything on social media is absolutely right. So the book does reference a lot to the food pyramid, which you can see, and they go into different sample daily meal-based plans, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. This is what I really like, is how to select fresh produce. Okay, nobody ever taught me how to select fresh produce. I found out the hard way when I would get a tomato crack it open and it was just, you know, rotten. Or I learned that you don't eat green avocados or green bananas or green, Apples. No, you eat green apples. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't eat anything green. That's what the kids would want, right? And they teach you about all the different types of vegetables, like parsnip. Have you ever seen parsnip? That's like a vegetable. And turnips. Have you ever had a turnip? Oh my gosh, turnips are amazing. They're awesome. Just cube them up and stick them in your salad. And they teach you about all the different fruits, what's a fruit, what's not a fruit, how to pick them out at the store. Awesome, 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 I use this page. Kitchen safety, that's something of course they reference to right at the beginning when you're talking about those recipes. Make sure your kids know how to handle a knife or you'll be at the hospital getting stitches because you cut your finger off. I still have a scar. Don't use dull knives on really hard bagels. But they teach you all of that in here and you, it's good to learn. Vitamins, they teach you about all the vitamins and what's cool is they show you what kind of foods have those vitamins. Baking with 100% whole grains. I love that they talk about protein rich plant and animal source. They actually show you that there are plants that have protein in it. So for all of you vegan and vegetarians, if somebody ever asks you again, where are you getting your protein? You can say, I ate spinach today. Okay, what's also cool is it's gonna get into some household toxins and baby care products and things that you put on your skin and in your hair. I know it's not food, but it does affect your body and they talk about it in here. They even talk about nail health care. Nails, these things. They have homemade nail growth recipes in here. They talk about sleep as I'm doing this video at 11 o'clock at night. I should probably read that chapter again. They talk about spices, they talk about herbs, they talk about essential oils. I mean, this book covers everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a link down below about this book, and if you're interested in seeing some of my other best homeschool curriculum review, that video is gonna be right here, as well as my favorite math curriculum for the younger elementary kids, Make Math Meaningful, and my favorite history one right there. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.